Hi, I'm Jack Buffington for RobotBrigade.com. This is another video in my series of videos about digital logic. And in this video, I'm going to talk about state reduction. And if you took a look at my last video where I talked about state tables and state diagrams, you would see that um, I'll draw a state diagram here. might look like that. Now, you're, you might be wondering, is this the most reduced that I can get my circuit? So maybe you have 20 different states. It might be worth your while to try to do some state reduction to see if it's possible to reduce the number of states. And if you can reduce the number of states, you have a chance of having less circuitry needed to realize the same function. Uh, it's not entirely guaranteed. Sometimes when you reduce states, you actually end up with more circuitry to be able to uh, come up with the uh, same logic. But uh, I think in general, it's going to reduce it. Uh, so I have here a state table for a circuit that I just came up with at random. And uh, well, not totally random. I made it so it would work out nicely here. Uh, so what I'm trying to do with state reduction is I'm looking at, uh, I've drawn my state table in a little bit different way than I drew it before, if you've been following these videos in order. Previously, I had my states, uh, my current state, and then I'd have the input for zero, and I'd say what my next state would be, and then I'd have all my states again, and if my input was one, what the next states would be. But here, I've taken it and I've put my next states for zero here, and my next states for one here, and my output for zero, and my output for one. And it's necessary to do it this way if you want it to be easy uh, when you're doing state reduction. So what I'm looking for is to reduce my states, I'm looking for states that have um, an identical jump for the next state, an identical output for the next state to another state. So, um, or I should say identical or equivalent. And uh, this is a place that I tripped myself up in the past. So, uh, if we scan through these here, uh, let me find it, I don't even remember what I have here. So here, these two states are equivalent. And I can tell that because uh, for their next states, for the same inputs, I, get, I jump to the same places. And for the same inputs, I get the same output. Uh, so those two states are equivalent here. And somewhere I have two others that are equivalent in the same way. And I think it's these two. Um, yes. Okay. But I'm not going to do it that way because that's only a partial way of doing it. Now, you can do that as a first step. Uh, so you can combine C and F and uh, B and E and create like a B, E state and just delete that out. Anything that went to E, you would... Um, change that to the BE, like that. But I'm not going to do that here. I'm going to show you a more methodical approach to this that catches when it jumps to equivalent states, not just identical states. And so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to organize this by identical output, or I'm going to sort it. So I'll do that now. I'll just put it in fast forward for your viewing pleasure so that uh, this video isn't insanely long. Okay, I've done my sort now, and um, I've got it sorted by identical output. So all the output here is the same, uh, and I'm just looking at these outputs here. All right, so it's pretty clear at this point that these are equivalent, but I'm going to leave them alone for now. 
this circuit can actually be reduced some more. And what I'm going to look for now uh, within each of these blocks, now obviously these are equivalent, so I'm not going to pay any attention to them. It's within this block that I have some further simplification to do. I'm going to look at first uh, this column here. Well, let me, okay, I'm going to look at each state and I'm going to make sure that for input of zero, it jumps to the same group of, um, of states and for input of one, it jumps to the same group too. So in this case for A, it's jumping to this group here and for uh, one, it's jumping down to this group here. And I'm looking for states that don't do that. So now I'm going to look at this state D. D doesn't do that actually. D jumps to this group here and this group for one. So it's different. So I'm going to separate that one from A. And G goes to uh, this group here and um, it goes to this group here. So it's actually equivalent to D. So uh, that's good. So now I'm going to look at H. H jumps to A uh, and then for out for the one it jumps down to this group. And you can see that this is equivalent to A like that. So um, they both jump to A if the input's one and for the output if it um, if it's one or not the output but the next state if the input is one it goes to F here and C here and that's in the same group so these two are equivalent states to each other and so finally I can end up writing it uh, which I guess I'll do up here. Uh, and actually, uh, I'm just going to write it as state AH. I should probably write it a little bit bigger because of that. So this is going to be state AH. And it goes to AH. And the output is F. Or the other next state for input of 1 and output is 0, 1. All right, and then this is going to become DG and it goes to the BE state and I should call this the CF state. So there we go, that is a reduced version of this state table right here and you could clean it up you could call this you know state a and any point that you had ah it just becomes a whatever however you want to call it uh, so that is a way that you can do state reduction so uh, what i did was i sorted it first by output by identical output then I looked at each group and I said for the given inputs do they jump to the same groups and if they don't then separate them out from the others and you want to separate them into groups and maybe this is a three or four pass process but eventually you're going to end up at a optimized state table uh, where uh, within a group they have identical output and they jump to equivalent uh, groups. So there you go. That is a, another video here in my series of videos about digital logic. If you enjoyed this video, take a look at my other videos on my YouTube channel. For robotbrigade.com, I'm Jack Buffington.